Hey Space fans, it's Tarek Malik, Editor-in-Chief of Space.com, and on this week in space, we're talking about the big, beautiful shuttle plan to move Discovery from the Smithsonian to Texas. Check it out. It's going to be big. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be the most amazing shuttle you ever saw, and everybody knows it. <laughs> it's going to so be part huge. Of the big, part of the big, beautiful bill included $85 million, which is a drop in the bucket, to move the Space Shuttle Discovery from the Smithsonian Udvar Hazy Center in DC. Ooh, you're flying one. That's cool. <laughs> to, um, to mention not on camera, to, I know. Uh, to <coughs> Houston. So this came from Ted Cruz and Cornyn, right? Yeah, Ted Cruz and, 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 and Cornyn. Saying, I have my reenactment. So here is the space shuttle in, this, in the Smithsonian. And the big, beautiful bill says, here's 85 million. We're going to grab this and we're going to take it all the way over here and put it in Texas. Oh, except uh, that we don't have a shuttle carrier plane anymore. Mm. We don't. We don't. Yeah. This, Maybe we can this... do it by truck. Oh, that'll cost $2 billion. Maybe we'll do it by barge. Oh, that's very dangerous. Oh, we hadn't thought of that. And by the way, that $85 million isn't just to move it. It's to create a place for it to live mm -hmm. at Space Center Houston, yeah. which is going to cost a fortune. And if I may add one more opinion, then I'm going to cut you loose on this. If you tr have tracked how Space Center Houston, which I love, they're a great place, have treated the Saturn V they have, which oh, is over on yes. the campus of uh, the Johnson S S Space Flight Center, you know, it sat outside for 35, 40 years, really decaying. And then they finally owls, put it in a right? building, <laughs> which is fine. But it was basically, if you've seen those ads for the General's metal shed, you know, they bought a big metal shed, dropped it on top and said, here you go. It does protect it, but it's a rotten way to display something as remarkable as Saturn V. J uh, um, KSC did it much better. And, you know, I realized there are financial constraints and all that. But what what does that bode for a space shuttle compared to say what Los Angeles is doing, displaying yeah. a launch configuration? Yeah. So yeah, for for folks, you know, we've 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 talked around it, but we haven't really specifically talked about the details. But the big beautiful bill, which is this massive, what is it called, a policy bill? So for the administration, it, it has all so. these different these different directives and laws in it um, for for what the the Trump administration wants to do, and and in that. In, as part of that kind of omnibus uh, package, uh, Ted Cruz and, and Corwin uh, of Texas uh, included this measure that would set aside $85 million for the, for the move of Discovery. Discovery is the most flown uh, space shuttle. It is the space shuttle, the spacecraft of record uh, in when it comes to museums, which means that the, the, the Smithsonian kind of is keeping it as pristine as possible, as if it just stopped off the on the runway after its final flight in 2011 and if i may it, say it's the space shuttle that i got to get aboard and sit in the the, the commander's seat of back in 1997 never let me touch anything thank you for bringing um, you know what that's so much better than flying on the zero g flight i now. knew you were gonna so go there it's so much better and you keep lording that one over me but um, that's all i've got well, and, and, and you have it's, you have more people coming to your website than we have reading our magazine or come to our website. <laughs> you get a far better paycheck than a certain editor in chief. I know you command the respect of the world and get invited to all these cool things. I'm lucky if one, I get one, some stale one donuts for free, you know. Well, maybe if they move the shuttle, they'll let me touch it finally. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, but that sounds a little creepy the way. Well, you it. well, <laughs> it's what I'm, what I'm trying to say. I just to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the way that they, 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 they kind of chose, uh, as I, as I recall, because mm -hmm. it was really interesting to watch, is that ever all of these, uh, the Smithsonian, you know, would, would, would get kind of like the, the initial nod. To, to showcase as like the national museum of of, of things. That's where uh, the Wright well, Brothers plane is. But it's excuse me, one to, is. To, to be clear, as I recall, once something of NASA's comes back to Earth, by charter, doesn't it automatically uh, revert to ownership by the Smithsonian? Well, it, when they retired the program, when they delivered it to the Smithsonian. Yeah. Like it's, it's like, if all, like, like with all the museums, it's like theirs now. Right. Well, I mean, uh, what I'm saying specific to the Smithsonian is Apollo capsules, um, you know, unused uh, engineering twins for the robotic probes and so forth. Basically, when NASA says we don't need this anymore, first rights go to Smithsonian. And if they yeah. take it, they now have ownership and or possession of it permanently. 
Yeah, if they take right. it, then they, they, they but it, and it's it's also with like uh, Enterprise at um, at the Intrepid and Atlantis at uh, at KSC Visitors to Complex and Endeavor uh, at California Science Center. Once they have it, they have it, right? It's it's theirs. It's it's theirs. I under as I understand it, and I was talking to uh, our historian friend Robert Perlman about it today. Like what you're saying is like that's accepted. You know, they 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 accept it. NASA signs it over to them. It's like a, you're signing over a car that you sold so that you can get a new car. Oh, except that in our case, it's our new car is not a, a nice giant winged reusable space plane. It's a dollar, bunch yeah. of capsules and uh, a rocket that took, you know, 18 years to, to build anyway. Um, so, um, not that I'm salty about that at all. <laughs> well, can I just insert a point real quick? Yeah. Yeah. So the crews and corner are like, okay, Texas deserve Houston deserves its own space shuttle. Damn it. Mm -hmm. You sent one to LA, you sent one to New York, et cetera, et cetera. We want ours. Oh, wait a minute, Texas. You have this the full fidelity mock-up shuttle called Independence, used to be called Explorer, at Space Center Houston already, on top of one of the two shuttle carrier planes. It's virtually indistinguishable to, to the lay eye from any of the other shuttle orbiters. And it's already sitting on top of this very specialized plane, one of the two that would have been able to carry it, Discovery back to Texas where they still flying, which they're not. You have a shuttle. It's really, it's it's big. It's beautiful. And it's got a gantry so people can walk inside of that one, which you can't do with the other ones. Yeah. In general. Yeah. So yeah, you can walk inside break. it. I think you can go inside the carrier plane too. I, I haven't seen yes. that exhibit uh, at all. I haven't had the chance to go inside. I've it. seen it, it from really the outside, cool. but yes, you can go into both decks of the shuttle or see both decks of the shuttle yeah. like from a, a gantry walkway, which is and, an interesting and, thing. And then you, and as you, you can pointed go all out, the way through the carrier plane. Yeah, as you pointed out earlier, there are two of those carrier planes that we built, mm -hmm. that NASA built. And one of them is there at Johnson Space Center. The other one, I think, is in Edwards. Is that where? Or not, it's not called Edwards anymore. Um, at Armstrong, Armstrong, I think. But it's my I could be... I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, it's 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 been it's been mothballed, you know, and 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 so so we don't use that anymore. And this, there's equipment that they used to build to put the shuttle on top of that. They don't have that. It takes like five cranes to do. Um, and uh, and so there's a lot of questions about where you would do it and how you would you would transport it and 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 get it across. I mean, it took it took forever to get those 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 those. Um, uh, uh, those shuttles on the ground streets like the from the LAX to California Science Center like it right. had to go up a a, a whole a, a whole bunch of streets they had to cut down uh oh, light major light was down there for to, three to, to days yeah, yeah. they're removing lampposts they're cutting down trees when they it actually was here, had to remove pieces of buildings when it was here in New York when they when they when they delivered enterprise to New York uh, it was at the um, the airport forever then they put it on a barge and then it had to come all the way over then they had these huge cranes it was crazy but at so, least they didn't have to drive it through the streets of Manhattan yeah oh my gosh <laughs> that can you would imagine have been something. wow um the, the taxi so, drivers honking behind it the whole time so 85 million dollars is not going to cover like all of that you know, like uh, backing it out of the hangar that it's in at the Smithsonian Udvar Hazy Center, uh, transporting it across somehow, getting it, you know, from wherever it lands to the Johnson Space Center, and then building whatever building they need. It's not going to cover that at all. I maybe maybe they think they're going to get more money later in the future. It's not clear. But what, the last thing you want to do is start it halfway, run out of money, and then it's just right. stuck outside or in a shed or whatever. For years well, to come. which is what happened at the California Science Center. We got um, Endeavor. It sat in a metal shed for, what, 15 years? Mm -hmm. 12 years? Um, with plans to do something better. So they have now done the something better. They excavated and are building this big, fantastic building that will display it in launch mode with an external tank and solid rocket boosters. They're not going to have vapor coming out of all the vents, which I had asked for but they said <laughs> it seems like can't afford that, that seems like a no-brainer i mean they could add that later well because it, it well, they'll add a living, it post right. a living breathing thing yeah yeah um but that structure alone and the engineering and design for it i think is up close to 200 million dollars yeah 
So the and 85 they're, million they're going to get that won't even pay for the move leaves it sitting, I bet you money, sitting outside or in a tent building for the next 15 years while they figure out what to do. Yeah, and uh, the same is money. true here in, so in, in New York because Enterprise was supposed to be on its own special barge next to, uh, uh, next to they have a submarine at the Intrepid, uh, encased in glass and visible from both sides of the river where it is. Right now it's on top of the Intrepid uh, in, a, in, a, in what was initially like it's, it's a, a temporary shelter that has since become permanent uh, that is, you know, protected with the See, that's, corrugated isn't metal. that convenient? And, oh, that's what we really meant to do. Yeah. We'll just call uh, it permanent. <laughs> and that, you know, uh, that one got damaged during Superstorm Sandy. Uh, oh, really? The tail got damaged because of the structure on top. So The tail of the orbiter? Of the orbiter, yeah, the very top, the, the vertical stabilizer. Pardon me yeah. for calling it a tail. I apologize. Oh, so... Uh, so there's a lot of open questions about it. Now, uh, uh, there was a development yesterday, uh, and we've got a, a, another line, John, uh, for this, if you've got uh, room to share. It is um, uh, uh, line 26. Uh, and this came up during a Senate appropriations, a Senate committee uh, appropriations hearing um, uh, the day before we recorded this episode. Ooh, and look, in, a whole page of text. Uh, well, the, the part to, to call out, is um is uh i believe it was uh, senator dick durbin of illinois uh during this budget markup and he says um that this bill this transfer uh bill of discovery uh it's not, he says and i quote according to robert perlman at collect space it's not a transfer it's a heist a heist by texas because Ooh. they lost the competition 12 years ago robert said that no, Dick Durbin, Senator Dick Durbin. Oh, Come on, man. Oh, oh. So, <laughs> so, so like they are trying to take the money out, right? Uh, from from this bring the space shuttle home act that is in the big beautiful bill, and uh, and say like we're not going to do this, and and as part of it. so they're talking actively about pushing against that that act right now. Um, I, how they do that, I'm not sure because now that act is law, right? Because Trump signed the big beautiful bill on July 4th, which which I think means they have to execute it. Uh, right now, unless Congress changes the law, which I guess they can do uh, as well um, to pull it out. I'm, I'm a little murky. Somebody, please, listening out there, explain that how they how they would do that to me. Uh, so, so we'll see. Got, we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. The there. But, but, but I mean, like that's some strong language. It's a heist, you know. And uh, uh, and and so we'll have to see like what happens in 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 the weeks to come because the feasibility thing about it is it alone that's that ownership point that you brought up earlier um um uh uh you know could could lead the the smithsonian to sue i don't know i don't know what's going to happen there but i guess we're trying to see where the ships are going to fall because they don't seem uh, that they're already done uh if you see uh, the little falling. the little brush fire in discord jammer yeah. saying sue him take it to court <laughs> yeah. You, see, you say you mean a law just like the TikTok ban? 